Walter Wendler, president of West Texas A&M University, the heart and soul of the Texas Panhandle and a proud member of the Texas A&M University system. Post-secondary education matters. The supply of an educated labor force with employment potential is changing. Inflation adjusted state appropriations for higher education have been stagnant since 1990 and have declined by 16 percent since 2007. Moreover, costs per student have risen faster than inflation and are likely to do so in the future. These financial pressures have lent to urgency to the search for innovations that can bend the cost curve in higher education. At WT, pre-COVID-19, online student population equaled about one-third of WT's total of 10,000 students. Our online offerings are not solely a response to current events, but WT's long-held commitment to accessibility. In fact, WT has been an online pioneer since 1997, when very few people knew much about it. The cost-value equation in education is real. Cost pressures from reductions in public funding are important for WT. Some evidence that colleges are charging lower prices for online coursework suggest that advances in online learning technology might bend the cost curve in higher education. However, there are caveats. First, it is possible that the quality of online education suffers with online delivery. Second, the general equilibrium effects of online education may exert competitive pressure on higher education, which will lower prices and or increase efficiency. Not all services are applicable to online students, however. The campus environment offers support and enrichment opportunities on campus that may not be applicable to online learners. At WT, underutilized services for online students include athletics fees, recreational sports fees, medical services fees, parking services fees, and miscellaneous services, including summer registration programs, welcome events, and similar occasions, leading to charges of modest benefit that online students absorb of $354 per year per student on average. Creating an online infrastructure for quality delivery is not free, though. Most online courses include a technology fee on either a per credit hour or per term basis. These fees cover costs such as technology improvements, increased bandwidth for backup for interruption-free service, 24-7 tech support, virtual labs, instructional designer assistance, software to prevent plagiarism, and online learning management systems. These recurring costs at WT create a university burden of approximately $366 per year per student on average. Additionally, faculty workloads are often the same, yet online teaching often requires more work for effective communication. The conclusion is this. Online and on-campus costs are approximately equal for students, but online instruction is slightly more, not less expensive to provide when quality and its attainment is held high. Implicit student savings exist with online delivery. Traditional campus experience, residence halls, dining, academic buildings, and sports teams to cheer on are costly. On-campus food and housing are the most obvious expenses, which, if eliminated, generate substantial savings for online students living at home. Changed perspectives are required from all. Our goal at WT is to reduce costs to the student while still providing a high-quality educational experience. On-campus space utilization is reduced for online students. Classroom space demands shrink 
as seat spaces are reduced. Returning to WT post-COVID-19, the number of students per classroom will be reduced by 50% in order to allow appropriate and safe social distancing. Students not present in class can access lectures through lecture capture technology, a powerful learning benefit. If new student growth was online, WT's current student population could grow to 15,000 students without additional space while maintaining our current on-campus population of 7,500 students. Instructional quality is important in either modality. And here is what I know. The art of good teaching is little affected whether that teaching occurs face-to-face -face or online. I've taught in both environments. Good teaching requires a bond of trust between the student and the institution worked out through the faculty. Faculty are the hub around which excellence rotates. Moreover, it would be unfortunate to compare new modality teaching, such as what occurred during the panic of the COVID-19 pandemic a few months back, with experienced professionals having significant online instruction expertise, as is often, nearly always, the case at WT. There are no simple answers. I would urge everyone to look carefully when considering college choices in this COVID-19 affected environment. The complete white paper, the cost quality differentials online and on campus is a study and available at wt125.wtamu.edu slash white papers. New world, new way, and, as Marty Coleman's book says, always WT. On, on, Buffaloes.